What's going on? My day-to-day -day people. Got my peoples with me, huh? Got my peoples with me. So, another blessed day amongst a dark world. Continue to be that light that shines amongst those who are dark. Continue to be bold and courageous and speak highly of what you believe in. And that is through our Savior Jesus Christ and our Lord. That is through our Savior Jesus Christ and our Lord of our Father, the Most High God of Israel. Continue to walk in faith. Continue to walk in faith. For blind faith is important. Blind faith is important. We must have faith in what we see in these scriptures. We must have faith in what we feel with the Holy Spirit. And we must have faith in what we see through other people who become edified in Jesus Christ, including ourselves. Now, let's talk something about being thirsty. You hear that term all the time. You know, we, we always hear that term when somebody is being thirsty. In retrospect of the scriptures I'm about to speak on, you hear, man, he or she is thirsty. Meaning, you know, in a modern day slang, the person is seeking attention in an unusual fashion. Now, it is nowhere near wrong at all to be thirsty for the righteousness of the Most High God. He loves when his children he loves when his children are willing to drink of the living water, being Jesus Christ. Now let's go to the Gospel of John. And that is uh, chapter 4, verse 9 through 14. I'm going to be reading the English Standard Version. Okay? So we look at um, 9. Now above, Jesus had asked a Samaritan woman for a drink of water. Now let's look at nine. The Samaritan woman said to him, how is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. 10. Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him. And he would have given you living water. 11. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? All praises to the Most High God through his Son, Jesus Christ. Where do you get that living water? She asked. Now, let's look at 12. Are you greater than... Then our father Jacob, he gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and livestock. So 13, Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. Let me run that back. Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. Now, let me say, being thirsty of the flesh will leave you unsatisfied as well. Do you hear what I just said? Let me run that back. Being thirsty of the flesh will leave you unsatisfied as well. Mm. All praises. All praises to the Most High God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Let's look at verse 14. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. So, do you want to be thirsty of the flesh or thirsty in the spirit of seeking the righteousness and fulfilling the will of what the Most High wants in each and every one of you, including myself. We all have to seek his will, not our will. Okay? We seek his will, not our will. The beginning of his will is accepting 
and believing in Jesus Christ through the Gospels. Okay? Through the Gospels of Jesus Christ, believing every miracle that he did, that he died for the remission of our sins. Okay? That he was crucified. He was buried. Resurrected. And ascended. Believing all of that is the beginning of the will. Of what our Father wants for us to do. So be thirsty in the spirit to never be thirsty again. Being thirsty of the flesh will leave you to thirst more and more and more and more and more and more. And further pushing you away from the great and free gift of eternal life that is blessed with us by taking Onto what Jesus has left us. And that is the gospels. It is a free gift. All the thing you have to do. Is want to be edified. Want to be corrected. Be edified in Christ. And be corrected. And the rest. Our father will help you out with. Now let's continue to pray for Israel. To soften their hearts. And accept Jesus Christ as their Messiah. Let's continue to pray for, pray for ourselves as we go through these days and not be wavered in faith through virus, through famine, through whatever things that we see that may waver our faith. Have faith in the Most High. There's another famine that's out, and that is the famine of people searching for the word of the Most High. That's another famine. The word about earthly famines, instead of getting right with themselves spiritually, and we must pray for those. We must pray for ourselves. Pray for ourselves, and if you know a brother who is lost, continue to treat him with kind words. Reel him in slowly. There's no need to push any type of thing on anyone. For if you are a true believer, they will see what's in you and become curious and start asking you questions. So there's no need to condemn anyone. There's no need to judge anyone. Let the spirit work and talk through you as you go through your day-to-day -day lives. Much love. Peace.